brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. We're gonna fire this puppy up. I mean, listen, just a bunch of loose stuff coming off of Oh yeah, so the Indy oil pump and Bristol. Yeah, oil pump loose. Crank Very sensor loose. had one bolt holding it in. Just uh, rattling stuff loose. Throw some Loctite lock, on all that you good know stuff. I put that red on there. Good luck to the Damn, next guy. We don't want that oil pump loose. I mean, oil pressure is perfect. I, I always watch it, so That's and it will it'll throw a red light on the dash and never did. And so. we found your compressor leak, but we had to order a compressor. compressor switch. Okay. To replace that, so it'll be noisy this time, but next time we'll be dialed. Sounds good, brother. Hit the key. <laughs> Yep, there it is. There the air pumps is. right on. Right, Got a big old leak on that thing. Yep. That's too easy. I got it all on. Did they spray it? I saw them drag it. Uh, yes, they're out with the sprayer right now. You gotta love Bradenton, dude. The prep, so good. All right, we got bowling up here. First pass of the day at Bradenton. Spicy prep, let's go. Okay, see this little wrinkle on the fender? It's about to get a lot worse and we're gonna lose some other parts. Got a tie up there lining them up. I think the window trim just went off. All right, so we'll go ahead and just gather up those pieces that we probably don't need. Yeah, I'm gonna throw those out. Cause yeah, because race car. I guess getting rid of the front window trim just wasn't enough for you. You had to go for the back too. Did it shake it off? Oh yeah. Oh jeez, bro. I'm gonna have no trim <laughs> left. I think it needs more 60 foot. Yep. And then it'll have enough to be settled. I think it's bringing in the power too hard. Yeah, it was aggressive. So, it was right. pretty cool. It was cool, but not good. All right, so this should be there. Yeah. That should be in the back of a golf cart, and Sam already fixed that. It's, uh, it's a tough piece, man. Well, as we went out to make another run, we have a uh, problem here. Check this out. Oh, man. So I can see this dent from a, from the staging like Yes. Just blew it's... the quarter out because when I wheel shook on that last pass, 
thinking we might have bent something on the car. Yes. It was it was really violent in the car. So it looked violent. Yeah. I you know, and when your tire's shaking, right, the tire's coming off the track and then sticking back in and it's just cranking the crap out of the whole car. I mean it ripped the trim off the back. We thought that was fine. I mean we've tire shook before, but that one is extra violent. And uh, the tire actually got forward and bent the entire fender. So instead of continuing to run, we're gonna go back to the shop and make sure we just triple check everything because we do not want to crash There's going 220. There's a lot of horsepower for a part to let go on here. Yeah. Not be fun. You get this fender over here? Oh yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I think I had some of that before. Yeah, the other side was just so complete. The other side is uh, aggressive. Uh, we need to hit power switches on we all these Oh, it did crease the quarter. Sam, can you buff that out? Uh, that would be, be a grinder and then a buff, but yeah, it can come out. Damn, it got so, it good, man. Uh, yeah, it got it really hard. Yeah, but it went to shoot. <sighs> it went into right here when it did. Yeah, that tire went forward. Yeah, probably a half an inch or so on top there. Better here than on Rocky Mountain Race Week. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's, it's kind of fun here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fabrication project. You do those at your home track. So what most people probably don't know is we have stock torque boxes in this thing. That was my immediate fear. Yeah. So we moved one of those. And it's amazing that you go this fast with these stock torque boxes. We probably should replace them regardless. But everything looks pretty straight, actually. I think the wheels started popping and popping. It might have just... Yeah, and the tire. The tire just reached up and got it. It might have just deflected. Cut right there clean. Well I mean, the, the bars feel good. Yeah, we Better could we could tire. actually we could move the tire back a little bit in the wheel well if we want. Yeah, we yeah. could definitely roll it back because yeah. your wheels are always going to try to bow forward a little. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. That's part of racing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I know a good body. Yeah, guy. we'll figure it out. Woohoo! Six oh. month baby update. Are you holding the phone right now? Yeah. Oh, all right. There we go. Okay, six month update. It is Mother's Day, so this is prime opportunity to make this happen. He loves watching you when you talk. <laughs> we really, there wouldn't have been any point to doing an update I think, before this because he's just at the point now where he's like so conscious, you know. Do you want to back up completely? Because the first one that we actually did was when I was still pregnant. Yeah, we did an update maybe a week before you had. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, and we Something never like posted that. that one because then we posted the video of us having him, so we just didn't get it out in time. But essentially, this little guy is now six months old, <gasps> and he can hold stuff. Exhibit number, exhibit A. Yeah, see that? He can also ch chuck a lot of stuff, really into chucking stuff. Eats solid foods now. Well, and milk, obviously. Yep. But, you know, now he's just kind of a full-blown baby human. <laughs> Versus for the first several months of this process, if you guys don't know, these things are just essentially potatoes. potatoes. And they can't even hold their heads up. And it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of just care. You know, just constant taking care of a potato, which Maddie did majority of. <laughs> You, How do you, you did a lot in the beginning. You just kind of don't now because I breastfeed. So obviously you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. He, and he didn't like bottles. He did bottles. in the beginning and then we stopped. So, I mean, I can change diapers and, and entertain Back him. Time. But whenever it's time to eat, that's your guys' deal, yeah. which is fun. Yeah, we like it. It's been hard, though. Just the balance. It's been a grind. I mean, we we definitely have worked a lot in our our lives, you know, 100 hour, 120 hour work weeks is really nothing. Mm -hmm. But we're obviously very passionate about our work and our craft with, you know, the YouTube stuff. But this was, uh, this was something serious. I mean, I definitely underestimated the whole thing. <laughs> we totally underestimated <laughs> parenthood. They tell you oh, that yeah, a no. baby is just going to be like crying, you're going to feed them, change them. He's gonna sleep the whole time. That is 
not true. This child has a personality and he knows what he wants. And if he doesn't yeah. get it, it's like he's going to let you know. I think some characteristics of our baby would Sounds be... Like someone I know. Very impatient. <laughs> yes. Uh, very distracted. And just hyperactive. Like he is... <laughs> ripping all the time that might be just some of the reasons why it was more difficult because some of our friends are having babies right now too and <laughs> they definitely didn't have such a grind off the the start but uh you know we went through this phase where we got him to sleep a little bit when he was just a little nugget right but then he got his vision mm -hmm. and then all, all hell broke loose mm -hmm. couldn't get him <laughs> to sleep and it was the hardest time of our relationship period of us yeah. being together. Like it was a lot of juggling. I had to tend to him so much. Garrett had to take on like the big load of not only at work but being a housewife too, because I was basically <laughs> absent just because I had to. He wanted to just be on me. Yeah, it I wasn't bad. I mean, looking back on it, it wasn't bad. It's short term. Yeah, it was. Short term, you know brutalness like it sucked because every time you'd put him down and like we'd get him asleep it it felt like five minutes and he would just be crying again that was the brutal part that was hard but then we got this thing we're looking up solutions online on how to get him to sleep for longer than four seconds <laughs> and we found this moving bassinet called a snoo and this is in no way a sponsored post so went and bought one used off Facebook Marketplace. And then that was when we were finally able to get some sleep that was longer than two hours. And we rode that for four months. He slept in that thing. Mm -hmm. Now he's in the big boy cradle or- Big boy crib. Crib, yeah, big boy crib. What's probably the biggest thing was the schedule. Yeah. To walk him through the schedule. There's different types of babies and Rip is a routine baby where- Big schedule guy. Yeah, he likes his schedule. So there's three naps that we put him down for as of now. And it's morning, afternoon, and then a mid evening, short little nap, and then he goes down for the day. I love that we're putting him down early because then we get to spend time together, which yeah. is so important. You know what's yeah. crazy is you would think like, if your baby is waking up at 5 a.m., keep them up a little bit later and then they'll sleep in further the next morning, right? Like instead of putting them down at 7 p.m., put them down at 9 p.m., and then, you know, maybe he'll sleep in. Actually, quite the opposite. Yeah. If you keep your baby up, it it's makes great. them overtired, and then when you put them down, they'll only sleep half the time they normally would. So the whole trick is to get the exact amount of sleep for him that he needs 10 minutes extra bad deal 10 minutes less bad deal this guy <laughs> this guy's gotta be right on isn't that right yeah give me a little face massage will you <laughs> oh wow thank you so much so for us you know the snoo was big the schedule was big mm -hmm. now we're at the point where he crawls very slowly <laughs> we're talking planking a lot of planking and then he can make it about i'd say three feet in four minutes would be the ratio that's his stats yeah those are his stats right now very big on you know watching me edit loves that loves circles wheels anything just wheels. round like that that's a big hit right now one thing i'll say that was probably top top five of the challenging parts was car rides Oh. Brutal. I thought you would love them. We I'm thought, so bummed. <laughs> we always heard people like, oh, I can never get them to sleep unless I'm in the car. For some reason, when we're in the car, we're screaming. That was from... It's insane. That was from six weeks to about five months. And just recently, he has <laughs> gotten over screaming in the car. <laughs> Today, we went out and did errands. Didn't cry a single time Not in the car. Time. Incredible. Incredible. Very happy. Because it, it used to work me up so bad. I would be crying. We'd both be crying and Garrett's just like, okay, we're going to turn around now. I'm like, okay. Yeah, the hardest part of this whole thing, I think, for me is, is what it does to Maddie. Because I can handle, you know, him crying and the frustrations of him. But when it brings down your wife, that's, that's what really sucks. 
But brings me up, puts me down, brings me back up yeah, again. Yeah, <laughs> like he takes her to rock bottom and then... He basically stomped on me a couple times while I was already down, kicked me again, and then he brought me back. <laughs> it's like you're having a really bad day where he's not sleeping, crying a lot, and then he has a blowout, ruins his sheets, his onesie, you know, the whole our night. bed. Yeah, like... Oh, he doesn't sleep in our bed. Again, he sleeps in his crib. He's been there for two weeks, or since he was but two weeks old. But then you'll pull him out of the bed and bring him to your bed just for one second of relief to, like, <gasps> lay down, and then he'll have a blowout. And then you gotta change the sheets. You gotta wash him, you know. He's he's really it's put fun. us through the ring. It's fun. Yeah. Now yes. we're in a point, you know, the last the last two months have been amazing. We've really been enjoying it. I mean, there's obviously days here and there that are rough. Rough for Maddie. Maddie takes the brunt of it, but I think we're we're really over that hill of now enjoying it. Because when you wake him up in the mornings now and He's so excited and happy. He has the cutest face. Yeah, he'll watch. So happy to see you. Watch anything we do. Watch cartoons. Eat his toys around the room. We're gonna have to like do another update when he's like a One, toddler. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah. I don't even know what a nine monther looks like. Yeah, parents aren't joking though when they tell you the whole like first four months oh, is a project. They're really not, kid. No, they're not. They're not being dramatic at all. We thought they were being a little dramatic because everyone in life is like, oh, it's going to be so bad. And then, you know, everything's not that bad. There were some points in this then, process that were. But then there was moments where people were like, oh, parenthood is amazing. And I'm just like, I felt like I got hit by a train. <laughs> I'm like, what do you, what part is this amazing? But now I get it. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you just have it's a potato. And, and it's just screaming and you haven't slept. It is one of those moments where you're like, Why did what have we done? Do <laughs> but I always try to remember that we are so lucky to just have him. I know. Even in the hardest times when you're just thinking like, what have we done? It's, it's like, we're so lucky to have him. And he's healthy. And he's healthy. We have a ways to go. <laughs> yeah, it's just I know. <laughs> a fraction of what we will deal with. As parents, but we wanted to update you guys and uh, just give you a bit of information on our journey of parenthood since it's Mother's Hi. Day. Yes. Anything else you wanted to talk about at this moment? Um, to all those moms that are out there struggling and probably, we are all probably crying at the same time in all different houses. You're not alone. There's no better mom than you. You know what's right for your child. Trust your gut. And happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Do It For Day. We'll freaking see you later. There we go. That's it, Rip. Wait, why don't you try it again? I also want to say that children's toys are incredible now. You push this thing an inch and it goes a mile. I know. I love this thing. That's, that's crazy. Our toys back then, you pull them back a foot, they went a foot. These things it's have... Like look at this. Yeah, watch this. Watch this. Look at this. Let me drop it now. Things got some serious momentum. It's still going. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.